Okay, so I promised that I would do a um, video if the BBC replied to my complaint, so here is that video for you. Excuse my hair, it's wet, it's scraggly, but it doesn't matter. So, if I can find the reply. Okay, I'm just, the hair is annoying me, it's on my face. Okay, so here is the BBC's reply. They replied to me via email on Outlook. So, dear Miss Lawler, thank you for contacting us about Clean Eating's Dirty Secrets, presented by Grace Victory and broadcasted on the 11th of July 2016. We appreciate you were concerned about the accuracy of the programme, the portrayal of veganism and the clarification of the differences between veganism and clean eating. We flagged this up with the production team, who responded as follows. In this program, Grace Victory attempted three types of diets <laughs> that some wellness bloggers promote, plant-based, um, specifically deliciously errors, potato cleanse, and raw vegan. These diets were selected because bloggers claimed that these particular diets led to certain health benefits, which we believe to be unsubstantiated. As these were the diets that Grace was trying, these were the diets that she most often referred to. Now, straight away from that paragraph, it's clear that they're not taking any responsibility and they're not apologising for any of their content because they're basically just saying, oh, this is the diet that Grace was trying, so this is why she talked about it. Well, no, it doesn't really explain why you chose to feature those three diets in particular. Obviously, if you choose to feature these diets, then you're going to talk about them, but it doesn't explain why you focused on vegan diets. So, no apology. And then they go on to say, In the short time on screen that Grace had to recount her experiences, we attempted to produce an accessible introduction to this world for the audience. I don't think there was any attempt made, really to produce an accessible introduction to this world for the audience because it was completely one-sided so they're not even taking any responsibility for that and they're not even apologising saying yes it was one-sided um, blah 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 sorry no we did seek to define the diets as much as possible that is untrue but we are aware that there is significant discussion and debate around some of these areas and some definitions e.g. the plant-based diet, are open to interpretation even amongst those involved in the, this world. Plant-based diet is not open to interpretation. A definition of something is not open to interpretation, I'm sorry. A definition is a definition. You can't interpret a definition of something. Like, they're just trying to make up excuses because they, knew, they know that they're wrong and they're fucking stupid. Um, we sought to concentrate on the food being consumed and critique the world in light of the impact on certain individuals rather than making any ethical distinctions. We are glad the programme has been widely watched and must much debated via various channels after the event. Okay, so basically they don't give a shit about their viewers, they don't give a shit about the public, um, it's going to harm them as long as they get views and as long as it causes debate and people watch the programme. All they care about is money. They basically just said that to me in an email, in writing. We welcome that debate and we thank you for your comments on this programme. We hope this helps you to address your concerns. Hmm. Thank you for taking the time to contact us. So that was it. Um, yeah. Maybe this is the same reply that they send to everyone that has complained about it. I don't know, but yeah, I just thought I'd give you the response as promised. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, do you think this is good enough? Do you think that reply is genuine? Do you think they really give a shit? I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. Thanks for watching.